three years in the making. Man, I can't believe it's now real after three years. It's incredible, man. <laughs> we, we did it. Excited. What makes Magu unique for me is that emotional attachment to where he was born and the love for the people. They sponsored me there. Yeah, Investor of One. And uh, it's always special to come back home. <laughs> Education opportunities in Magu are limited. We don't have many kids who finish school. It's a struggle. I left Rwanda in 2014 for my master's in Germany. And it was really a blessing. And I went for engineering because I always dreamed to come back to help my village. When I first met Chris as an instructor on Udemy, I was trying to bridge the gap between engineering and business. But the thing that never came across my mind by then was that I could meet him or let alone being partners. Vital asked me a couple of questions on the Udemy platform when he was taking a course of mine called an entire MBA in one course. And I fell in love with him and his outlook and how he really believes that education can fix every problem in the world. And that's something I believe in too. He started asking me like, okay, so uh, what do you want to do in life? What are you passionate about? And I told him, my heart burns for my village. And I would wish that my village has access to education. We decided on the spot that we were going to build a school together. What came out of that meeting was Project Magu. I can't believe how big this school is. Though. It is big. Like when I looked at the blueprint, mm -hmm. it didn't look no, 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 no. No. The blueprint is just to show an, an idea, but um, the real thing is, is always different. Okay. All right, so let's have a prayer before our meal. And um, I will ask my mom to pray for us. Mama, to sing it in and how to the Fatichoku. Before genocide in 1994, my family was well off. We had a good house in the village. We had land, we had cows. My dad was killed in, during the genocide, and my mom was a widow of nine kids. And life became hard. During the genocide, people were killed like insects. My mom's side, we lost more than 100 people. And this is not unique to our family. And that's why, for me, what I'm doing with Project Magu is a way to give back. Prior to joining Udemy, I worked in venture capital in the Bay Area. I would teach during the evenings and on weekends. When I first published a couple of courses on Udemy, I had so much fun doing it. And I decided I wanted to chase my dreams and help people. I quit my job in venture capital and I teach full time. And it's the best decision I've ever made. In the first four modules, and whatever you don't finish, What I find incredibly inspiring is that Vital, who is one of my learners, is now an instructor. And 100% of the proceeds from his course on Udemy goes towards building this school. And I know in my heart that there are some entrepreneurs in this village that will take online courses offered by Udemy in the computer science building we just finished making. And they will also put their dent in the universe. Because we believe that online education is the future of education. Look what we are doing now. 
from offering a course on Udemy platform. And the ripple effect now is reaching Magu. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Biyo tangiye company rero amafaranga yakura he uyakura muri ba bantu baba investisseur bafite ibifaranga We all have god given potentials regardless of where we are born or what things that the world define us with we can all achieve them if we are given the right environment the right opportunities that is what inspires me most